incident at uh, Bondi last night, we have uh, six victims deceased, five women and one man and of course the offender. We are working through the process now of um, speaking with the families and supporting the families of those victims, uh, two of whom are able to appear have no family in Australia. So we are working through um, and with agencies overseas to attempt to reach out to the families of those victims. Uh, as has also been reported, we have a number of people remain remaining in hospital being treated for their injuries. Uh, we know many are in a serious and stable but stable condition. Uh, in particular, a, a young child remains in a serious but stable condition in hospital and our thoughts obviously are also with those people and their families and we will certainly be also supporting uh, the families of those people who are injured. We know also that a range of people um, from the incident uh, yesterday um, reported, uh, left the scene obviously and reported. We had a, a couple present to a medical centre uh, who were slightly injured. Um, so there are a range of people in, in unknowns, if you would like. And so uh, in relation to that, I would ask very clearly that this was a terrible scene. Uh, there were many people present at the time uh, and I would ask that anybody who has any information or was in fact caught up in the incidents yesterday to make themselves known to us, uh, to come forward so that we can speak with you and provide whatever support it is that you might require. There are also people who uh, were witnesses to the scene, uh, to the incident, who have not come forward, who are not known to us, uh, and I would reach out to those people to please make yourself known to us. In the first instance, you can ring Crime Stoppers on 1800 333 000, uh, and we will ensure that you are contacted and that we can uh, provide what support it is that you may require, but also uh, we are very keen, obviously, to hear from you in terms of what it is that you may have seen at the time. Equally, anyone who might possess footage, we would also be very keen to um, receive that. Again, if you could reach out through Crime Stoppers, we can make arrangements uh, to speak with you and, and get that footage from you. Uh, we briefed last night to the extent that we believe we were aware of the offender involved. I can tell you that a 40-year-old man from Queensland, Joel Couchy, has been identified as the offender in this matter. Uh, we are continuing investigations in relation to him. He's a man, as I said, from Queensland. We believe he came to New South Wales uh, last month. Uh, we are and have spoken with his family. We'll continue to do so and they are cooperating with us. We know that shortly after coming to Sydney, he uh, took possession of a storage facility that has been identified, and we have worked through that very small storage facility. Uh, as I had said last night, there is still, to this point, nothing that we have, uh, no information we have received, no evidence we have recovered, no intelligence that we have gathered that would suggest that this was driven by any particular motivation, ideology or otherwise, we know that the offender in the matter suffered from, suffers from mental health. Uh, we are continuing to work through uh, the profiling of the offender, but very clearly to us at this stage it would appear that this is uh, related to the mental health of the individual involved. Investigations will very clearly continue through the day. Work continues at the crime scene. Uh, we understand um, that there are people who were present and may have property or belongings uh, at the scene. Uh, we will make arrangements uh, promptly to ensure that people uh, are advised how they can go about retrieving uh, whatever that might be, including, for example, motor vehicles. But as you would understand, it's uh, absolutely necessary that we uh, 
do what is necessary to ensure that we provide a detailed and precise brief of evidence in relation to this incident which has occurred uh, yesterday. Tony, is, is all of Bondi Junction Westfield shut down today? Every floor, every part of the premises? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. What will be happening today? Uh, the processing of that crime scene will continue very clearly. This was a very broad incident. There's a lot of footage already out in the media depicting some of what has occurred. So people would understand this is a large crime scene. We need to deal with each and every aspect of that crime scene absolutely uh, in my, my new detail to make sure we get that right. We will do things as quickly as is absolutely practicable, but uh, it will take some time. Are you going to be looking at, as, a, as an act of possible public mischief, the, the despicable possibility that somebody has put out to the media and on social media a Jewish name uh, as the perpetrator of this, to have perhaps crocheted on the, the, the mere possibility at the time this could I don't know what anyone's motivations are. What I have been keen to do is clarify who we know has been engaged. Uh, and I would just hope that people respect everybody's privacy and respect people's feelings in this matter. There are people suffering terribly and everybody should respect uh, those people. Just excuse me, yep. Is there any indication of why he might move to New South Wales a month ago? Was he known to Queensland Police? He is known to... Queensland Police, why he has moved to New South Wales, I do not know. From the Brisbane area, I believe. What nationality would it to victims that you're working with? I can't confirm that, and it would be just improper for me to give the information at the moment. What kind of previous offences was he known to the police for? Do you know that? Uh, no, I don't. Very, but nothing significant. So, just looking at the, the victims <coughs> who have died. There is a disproportionate number of female victims compared to male victims. Do you have any information or just from looking at the footage? Does it suggest, is there anything that suggests to you that he was particularly looking to inflict harm upon women? Look, we'll canvas all possibilities. I don't know that to be the case at this stage, but very clearly those matters will be part of the investigation as it continues. Uh, it, it was a knife. I do not know uh, the detail about how he might have come into possession of it. How has the detective inspector who uh, fired shots? How she uh, as at last evening when I last spoke with her, she was doing well. Uh, and can I just say how, how proud we are of the actions of the officer involved uh, last night? She will be re is receiving all the support that she requires. Is there any indication that the service station is currently on the vehicle? It's much, much too early to consider those things. Oh, look, people do things in times of stress, you know, and I think people do some very, very brave things in these circumstances. The story is that just like a small, not even a unit, but just a small, tiny story. About a, cub a cubic metre, as I understand, not large at all. In terms of policing, uh, people who see what they see on the news, they don't see the behind the scenes of that, that second by second blow. How chaotic is that with the different descriptions uh, you know, of weapons, of clothing of the, of the informant, different levels in mind, people getting things wrong, people hearing shots, uh, assuming that they could be from the gunman rather than the police. How chaotic? Are those I mean, it's always obviously very difficult, but that's the nature of these things. These are very difficult scenes. Um, uh, uh, but as we move forward, um, we'll continue to make progress through it uh, and continue the investigation. Do you know anything about what he was doing for the last month? No, I don't, sorry. No, I don't, sorry. What did police find in this Oh, as I said, look, I'm not going to go through into the particular details of what was there, but there's nothing that would advance our information at this stage. Is the storage unit why? Is the storage unit what attracted him down to New South Wales from Queensland? Did he have any specifically for that? Is that the police? Oh, look, I don't do think so. It? I do not think so. However, we will continue to work through the inquiry. It is still very early in the investigation. I just reinforce um, the fact that if there are people out there who have not spoken with the police and they have information, would you please make yourselves known to us, 
Uh, and very clearly, I would ask that people just respect the privacy of people in this very, very difficult time. Thank you very much.